I just woke up. It's like one o'clock in the no one forty five. Um, I woke up like five times and I kept going, nope, 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 go back to sleep. Okay, really quick. A lot of people are like, oh, I would have just sent her a sweater and not the letter. No, I don't know this person. Like, I posted our conversation because she's been messaging me. Like I said, and, oh, I haven't posted that. I made a diary entry the other day and I was going to post it and I haven't done it yet. But it basically says something to the effect of like, I'm sure you're in my DMs. I'm sure we've had conversations. I'm sure you like my pictures. And I'm talking about like different kinds of women, which is funny because I made the entry like three days ago and then you saw what happened yesterday. But anyways, so the point of that message from last night, I mean, obviously y'all get it, but I don't know that person. She's just somebody who decided to go join the mean people on the internet and tell them I'm going to buy a box and I'll come post the letter. So I don't know her. Anyways, those people are called trolls and like you can't avoid them really. It's they're just going to be like really insecure, like jealous people on the internet that talk under anonymous usually anonymous but this one was real easy to figure out i didn't even do it somebody else did and so um but those people we just call them trolls okay and so and and this is the thing in this kind of job like that's to be expected people to say they don't like you or don't agree with whatever you say but i don't think it should happen like on an anonymous platform like don't be that guy or just like stay away from me i don't want to hear it you know and then the one thing you can't do, you can dislike me or anybody else all day, but what you can't do is me know that it's you and then you sue me for telling people that it's you, which is exactly what happened to me. And she obviously should have never won because she's still doing it to this day just under her real name. So, like, I don't know that girl from yesterday. I've never met her in my life. And she'd been messaging me since I think it said, like, 2019. And I'd never even opened her messages before. So, usually, if somebody is... No, I shouldn't say usually. Sometimes if somebody's an internet troll, you'll, I would imagine maybe they feel like that because like in her case, I haven't responded to her, but she was in a filtered box and I had no idea. So I've never interacted with her. She's never ordered from my company before. She's been messaging me for like the last four or five years and I never answered because I didn't see it. So I would venture to guess like she goes and reads the troll blogs because she's not getting that direct one-on-one -on -one attention with me. What happened with um, this, uh, my stalking situation is I hired the woman who had been writing about me for a long time on the internet before I ever knew her to run my business. She was in charge of my finances, my taxes. And that's the thing. And that's the thing. You can say anything you want about me anywhere you want. I don't care. But what you can't do is be in charge of my finances. You can't be an employee of my company. You can't be on my company payroll, obviously. And so in my situation, it ended up much, much, much different. And um, like, I don't care if somebody says something ugly about me on the Internet. I literally do not give an actual shit. What I care about is if you do that and then you're in charge, then you're in a position of power with my company or trust with me or on my payroll or in my bed at night. Like, that's not OK. I could give a shit less if 50 million people say anything they want to say. First of all, they don't, obviously. But, but then to go do that for so long before I ever knew you, which is the only thing that makes you relevant, because without me and the money that you got from me and the story that we have between us, like, do you have anything else to talk about? Nothing. So sometimes... People find somebody on the internet saying something ugly about somebody that they have a knowledge of in common. And then somebody else will comment underneath it. Just imagine like, yeah, just what I said. Anyways, and in this case, this person I don't know went and commented on somebody else's post talking shit about me or wanting to know what's in the letter, which is the weirdest thing. And she was like, I'll buy, I'm buying a box. It's going to be delivered today. And I'm... You're just like, what? You're going to pay somebody money, $100, just to see what's in their, what they wrote in their letter? So, thank you for that. Anyways, and I have a picture of your front porch and the little pillars on your front porch. So, you, there's no way you could do a chargeback either. So, don't do that. Um, but anyways, 
And I'm not going to post those for your privacy. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I just think it's kind of gross. <laughs> the focus is always the same. We don't care about those people. It's the other, the one. Okay. It doesn't make me sad, mad, nothing. Literally, my eyes were like watering because <laughs> I just think that's so crazy. The extents that people do. And you know, honestly, at the end of the day, you feel bad for her because you had to go join somebody else who is miserable. And your only thing in common is that you're being ugly about somebody else. Because let me tell you, the person's thread that you're commenting on, at one time I was very good to that person too. She just doesn't tell you that part on the internet. But it'll come out eventually. I, if ever anything in my life, you, that'll come out for sure. So, like I said, I don't care if every Tom, Dick, and Harry has something to say. People are so kind to me. Obviously, you can see that by my DMs or my sales with my new company. And that makes people like that very angry because they're jealous and it's stupid to be jealous when you can just join us but she tried to join us and i guess because i didn't write her back i don't know she got jealous the with the original situation i i have no explanation that's a level of fucking crazy i'll never understand but at the end of the day okay but at the end of the day the positive in it is that like a click is a click a view is a view a hundred bucks is a free set of lashes so thank you um, <clears throat> I can't concern myself with that stuff. The more attention I give to the whole situation, the more it makes the original monster feel like she's winning something in this sick way. And honest to God, like, it's very clear I'm the only thing that she is ever going to have to talk about because nobody cares to... I mean, people aren't calling her up for financial advice, especially if, she, like she said in my divorce, she didn't handle my finances, except for she sells a sweatshirt now with a freaking word finance meeting and a couch on it. So I don't know. It's a lot of lies and they just all swim around. But I don't talk about it like anonymously on the Internet. I just come on here with my real face and tell you guys the truth. And I always have. So anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> She's still obsessed.